Hello guys and welcome! In the previous episode, as you remember, we got plenty of this food, but unfortunately this food will rotten in 3 and 3.9 days, so the food, I, I thought the good time on this episode is to create ourselves a freezer and kind of teach you how this system works. So the first thing we'll need is a walking in freezer, so I think we start working on this this thing in here. So we're going to place it in here, just next to the kitchen, so it's readily available for us. So I think that's a good location for our walking in freezer, and also we'll have to start working on the battery bank. The battery bank is very simple design, so it's basically somewhere to store the batteries, because during the night time the, our solar panels don't work. And we need something that will store our batteries in there. So what you do, you create yourself a room that is kind of divided like that. Okay, let's place our guys in here, let's let them dig, dig it out. In the meantime we have this event in here, local squirrel has gone mad, so every now and then, as I said with difficulty level, Cassandra Classic will increase the difficulty level for you. And you can jump to location and see what happens, local squirrel will attack our base. So she, she will come to our base and eventually will try to fight our colonies. So Squirrel is not the most difficult of enemies, but do not under underestimate her. So you want to get grab your guys, place them in one spot so they can wait for it to come and they will start shooting at it. What you want to make sure is that your guys don't actually stand on the line of fire. Okay. Let it be shot. Still. Okay, and now get the male attacker and male attack it because you want that. Okay, Squirrel is dead. Awesome. So that's the first thing. What you happen in this little fight, as you can see, we got injured in here. We have a cataract, that's kind of because of the old age. But we also got a gunshot survival rifle hit us. So unfortunately we got hit by, by this guy. And Squirrel scratched us. And these wounds, even though they are not that deadly yet, they can cause serious problems to you. So what do you want to do? You want to send... Change one of this bed into medical in here. When you click on the bed, you have options to select. Grab Ryan. Send him and say rest until fully fully uh, healed. And then this dude will treat Ryan. So that's what's going to happen now. They will go take some medicine. And as we can see on Ryan's health in here, I will speed up the game to level 3 so we can see it faster. This guy will start patching his wounds and kind of fixing him up. And he did that. So now we can change this bed bank into a normal bed and everybody will go to sleep somewhere. This dude will stay on the floor because that's where he fallen asleep, but that's not a big deal for us. Okay, so it's daytime, they will start digging it out and then we'll be able to work on our design. What you want to do yourself is to start building the wall because the walking in freezer has to be walled off, obviously. So you use the wooden, wooden blocks are good. You can use the metal or any other material if you have materials, but the wooden ones are easy to start with. Because you get, you get wood to start with and it's easy to chop the trees, they will grow back, so it's not too bad. So what you want to do yourself is create something like that with the one gap in here. That kind of gap is important because now we have to go to temperature and praise, praise the cooler. Cooler has a red and the blue side. You will use them size to create the temperature's difference. The red one is where it pumps heat, the blue one is where it pumps cold. So you want to spin it around and place it like that. Always the blue one inside the room, if you want to cool it down. So that's where we're going to place it. The cooler will work, require some energy, but it will cool this room down to the decent energy and allow you actually to store items in it. And your food will not rotten, so that's something we have to start working on. In the meantime, you got the event in here. And the villagers called Ben decides to join you. That will happen every time in the game now. So within kind of like half an hour into the game, you will get a new guy joining you. He's nervous, heat tolerant and chemical interest. That's not nervous is not the perfect one, but we can live with that. He's good at shooting melee, 
pretty much everything else, so great. We're going to keep him. In the meantime, go in here, overview. Just allow him to do everything that you want him to do. So I will assign you to pretty much everything for now. And in here, you want to give him a job. So copy jobs from here and paste it in here. And he will have his own schedule. So now we're going to send our colonies in here and he will do the jobs for us. He will also need a bed because that's the new colonies for you. So go to the furniture, give him a sleeping spot just so he has something somewhere to stay. And we'll work on this fridge in here. Okay, so our cooler is created in here. And now you can see target temperature 21 degree. So that's not good enough obviously for us. What you want to do is you want to keep this cooler at the temperature below zero. You have you might have it different on the Fahrenheit, but basically you have to keep it under the temperature that is the freezing water in Fahrenheit as well. So if you keep it at I usually do like minus five of Celsius Celsius is good. So usually five five to ten degrees below the freezing temperature is perfect. And this fridge will start working now. So as you can see in here, the temperature of the room is dropping inside indoors room in the right bottom corner is now minus three minus four and it will drop and drop even more so it's quickly pumping the, the heat out of your room so it's 14 outside it's quite cold inside and eventually as this thing gets more power it will lower it even more so like you can see now is minus four and five so it's keeping it cool it's keeping it perfectly cool so it's all, all okay and these guys in here are mining this room out. So what you want to do with the battery bank, as I said before, you want to go to structures, place the, you want to place it inside, that's vital. It is super important that you place this thing inside because otherwise you will end up with the batteries exploding in the rain. You want to go to power and create the battery. For now, two batteries are more than fine and should work quite nicely, you can then kind of enlarge it and increase it more. So we'll place it like that. And as you can see in here, the batteries that are being connected very shortly, will get some power. We'll see it next day because now it's nighttime and they will not do it. So as it is nighttime, let's create some zones. We create the stockpile in our walk-in freezer. You want to make sure that the door is closed, so hold the steel. In the stockpile, clear it all and just use it for food. Make sure that you give it a critical priority, it is very important, so they move food from any other zone to your base. Now you can get your guys and they will actually work on everything else and they can howl them. So you can click on the meat and say howl it and they will do it. So the same in here, like how that and how that. And your guys will actually start moving this meat inside. The temperature here is at the moment warm, so it's not going to work yet. But as soon as the daytime come, they will actually do it properly. So let's just howl more of this meat. You can manually order them to do it if you right click on things. Okay guys, it's daytime. And as you can see, this room is at minus five temperatures of Celsius. When you click on the meat, it will never spoil, it's frozen. It doesn't matter for your cooking, you can cook frozen food perfectly fine and it will cause no problems whatsoever. As well, you can see your batteries are filling up, so they will last through the night. They are not filling up that quickly, so you may consider at this point of the game to actually throw another solar panel, because they only output so much energy. So if you go in here, Press it wherever you can. You can place it here if you want. It's going to be fine. And they will go and build it. And that should increase greatly your output of energy. So as soon as Ryan finishes building that thing, we should be fine. Yeah, as you can see in here, now it's going very, very quickly now. So that will supply your base with the energy for quite a while. So we have a walking in freezer. We learn about the temperatures. It works the other way around in the winter, so if it's cold in the winter, you want to use from temperatures. Are they the coolers the other way around? Or you can use the heater. Heater will heat up your room. Kind of works like a cooler, but it doesn't have to output energy anywhere. It just heat ups the room and you can only set it on positive temperatures above 21 degrees of Celsius, which is kind of like recommended room temperature. 
So I think that's it in this episode, guys. We learned about temperatures, we learned about the fridge and about spoiling food. So I think that's kind of important things we learned today. I hope you enjoyed it as always. If you did, give video a like, let me know what you think about the series so far and what are the other aspects of the game you would want me to cover. For now, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.